Thank you, Charles. The tragic suicide of a professional athlete over the weekend is bringing the conversation of mental health to the forefront of the sports world. News Press Now's Riley Funk takes a look at sports and mental health and what athletes can do to keep themselves grounded. I was very shocked because it kind of just came out of nowhere. That's Missouri Western golfer Jeffrey Johnston speaking on the death of PGA Tour player Grayson Murray. Murray died on Saturday at the age of 30. He withdrew from the Charles Schwab Challenge, citing illness before the completion of his second round of play on Friday. His death was announced the next day with his family sharing Sunday that the cause was suicide. Murray was on record about his struggles with depression. Everyone has their battles and um, sometimes they're um, people are able to hide them and, and, and function and sometimes you're not. And, uh, you know, I think our society now is getting better about accepting that, you know, it's okay to not be okay. This is something that co-CEO of the Family Guidance Center in St. Joseph, Christina Hannon, preaches. It's okay that you're not okay. Doesn't mean you're a quitter. It doesn't mean you're weak. It means you're taking care of yourself. We're letting people know if you're not okay, you can come and talk to me about it and I will understand, I will listen. Even local golf stars felt the shock of Murray's passing. Jeffrey Johnston will be a senior on the golf team at Missouri Western next year. He said it's a sport that is challenging mentally and he was open with News Press Now about his struggles. I've definitely struggled early, especially in high school, having that high expectation on yourself and not achieving those right away is really hard on yourself. In his struggle, he said he has something that keeps him grounded in hard times. In addition to having a good support system of family and friends, Johnston says he leans on his faith. It's important and just have faith in, in God and your family, your friends, that they'll be there by your side to help you through it no matter what, and just believe that. If you or someone you know is suffering from a mental health crisis, you're encouraged to call the number 988 where resources will be provided so you don't go into this fight alone. Riley Funk, News Press Now.